Hello, I am Dr. Vasudevan K.R. I lead the team of liver transplant and hepatopancreaticobiliary surgery as HPB surgery at JP Hospital in Noida. I have been practicing HPB surgery and liver transplant for the last 15 years from 2008. As of now, only a human liver can be used to replace a failing liver in a patient. We don't have the technology to grow the liver in the laboratory, nor is there a machine which can take the place of a liver. For example, in kidneys, dialysis can. So only a human liver can replace the faulty liver in a patient. Now this liver can come from two sources. In living donation, a relative comes forward and donates a portion of his liver, usually two-thirds. The second, disease donation. So here we have a patient who is in the hospital and is brain dead, meaning he is kept alive with the help of machines. In this situation, if the family wishes to donate, many organs, including the liver, can be donated. So to summarize, the liver comes from either a live donor related which is partial or a full liver from a diseased donor. So society does not want us to sell our body parts. So the thought process of society has been incorporated into law and the law does not allow that anyone sell his organs. So the law presumes that if you are related to the patient, the donor is related to the patient, he is doing it out of pure emotional attachment and love for the patient. So it is a legal requirement and not a medical requirement. In India, it is not legal for donors to be unrelated to the recipient. From a medical standpoint, the answer is yes. So, uh, if a person is not related and the liver is implanted into a recipient, it can work and it will work. For example, in disease donation or in living donation but swap transplants. Here, the donor is not related legally, yet the liver works well. In exceptional circumstances, in living related, the law allows a donor to donate to a recipient when he is not related, when he wants to do it out of pure love to the recipient, out of emotional attachment. So this happens very rarely. The process to obtain approval is long, but typically it happens when the donor and the patient have known each other for decades, maybe 15, 20 years and are of a similar financial standing. So God has given us spare liver function, just like we have two eyes and two hands. We can survive with 25% of our liver function, which really means the 75% is spare. And when this liver declines, as in cirrhosis or uh, as in liver surgery, we need to remove it. Up to 60% we will not realize that there has been a problem. So it is fairly safe to remove from the liver angle 60 to 65% of the liver. However, the additional safety margin in liver donation, especially in living related or partial liver donation, is that the liver grows back in size. This is unlike, let's say, a kidney donation. So in two months, the liver will grow back to its to nearly its pre-donation size and volume. So in disease donation or a brain dead tumor, we want to evaluate the quality of liver function by doing a blood test as well as some imaging to make sure the liver is not damaged during an accident which caused the brain death. 
in living donation we want to evaluate two things one the quality and the amount of the liver that maybe can get from the donor and second the donor is going to be able to withstand the operation so extensive tests are done which include blood tests as well as ct scans and mri to estimate the quality of the liver its function and the amount as well as tests on the heart and the lung and the kidneys that is the rest of the body to make sure that he or she the donor can withstand the donation operation